Hello everyone, happy Monday the 4th of September. It's just gone midday by my calculations. I hope you are all well. Orvin Jennings here, your spiritual guide, coming in with the energy forecast for the week ahead. So from today the 4th of September to the 10th, <laughs> I nearly said the 11th, but it's the 10th, so Monday to Sunday. Um, yeah, so I hope you're well. Um, I um, come in every Monday, more or less, to give this kind of energy forecast from my spirit guide's point of view, so you might know, so you can know, sorry, um, what to expect. Um, it may explain the way you're feeling, that sort of thing. It can also give you a heads up so you can navigate the energies a little bit better. So when I was tuning in just now, the overall feeling I got, certainly for today, is a little bit of confusion. So if you're feeling confused or a little bit like you feel like you should be further ahead or you're not sure what to concentrate on next, I think that's just the feeling of today. <laughs> All right, it's Monday, so don't worry. It's just the beginning of the week. Um, but it feels a little bit intense um, and a, a little bit discombobulating. So don't worry too much if that's how you're feeling today. <laughs> um, uh, I know for me it was first day back to school for my youngest, like he's starting sixth form today. So um, that was all very exciting and emotional at the same time for us mums, you know. Um, <laughs> but uh, there's lots going on at the beginning of September as well. So it can be, it can feel like you really want to get organised, you really want to get going, but you're also a little bit, tired and we're also getting over you know there was a super full moon last week that was very intense we've still got these retrograde planets so there's a lot of stuff if that's a technical term going on in the cosmos right now so i am going to bring in my guides as usual and let's see what they have to say okay Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you very much for listening. Your forecast has all been said from today up until Sunday. Happy September, by the way. September can feel like a new beginning, can feel like you really want to get going, as Owen was just saying, but it can also be a time where you're just taking a breath <laughs> because you've had the summer. Maybe some of you have had children at home or grandchildren at home or you've been busy with different projects the energies have been very intense as well of course so it may well be that some of you are feeling a bit not on we we're going to say unmotivated but actually you're just feeling a little bit tired and lots of you have lots of ideas and you're really wanting to get some clarity on those ideas especially as to uh, which one do you put in place first or take action um aligned action to put in place but you're not certainly today you might not be feeling that there is a certain energy about today that owen was uh, discussing with us that feels quite heavy it's quite intense so just be kind with yourself today if you're feeling a little bit like that the good news is things will improve as the week goes on some of you hmm, there's an element here of some of you may be feeling like things aren't going quite the way you wanted them to. But what we would suggest in that circumstance is to really look at how far you've come. Also look around, maybe take time rather than focusing on what's not working, um, what is working and be grateful. Um, we know that can be hard sometimes, but sometimes when you focus on what isn't quite right, that's draining all your energy. Whereas if you can focus a bit or a lot on what is right then you might find this change of energy happening within you which will then create more space for clarity okay because there is sort of this brain mind fogginess going on this week for a lot of you we you know mercury is halfway through its retrograde cycle that will be a lot to do with it um, the good news is venus has gone direct uh, yesterday or today which means the relationship should start to feel a little bit more clear um, but then Jupiter's gone retrograde so there are still seven retrograde planets so that's making everything slower and 
um, there's still this period of reflection, reviewing, clarifying, that sort of thing. So don't worry if this week doesn't feel as uh, gung-ho and energetic as you thought it might, or you don't feel as gung-ho and as energetic as you thought you might. Um, just take some breaths, go within, meditate, use your discernment. Um, if things aren't feeling quite right, so in other words, if, you're, if you've got your business going, and you're wanting to put new offers out there but they're not feeling quite right leave them all right we know you want to get going we know you're excited but it could just be that this isn't quite the right week to be putting them out there uh, for some of you and that's if it feels off okay yes if you're excited do if you're full of joy and you're uh, feeling complete in complete alignment do but if you're not then it's best to pause all right it may well be that next week's a better week or you get some further clarity on what it is you're you're offering and that's the same in all aspects of life really so if there's a bit of confusion or something's feeling a bit off in a relationship or a family situation and you want to talk it through it might well be that you need to give it a few days to uh, to do that so that you're in a better place um, to tackle uh, whatever it is that's going on. But there's lots going on behind the scenes. Um, there's uh, a feeling of the need, though, as we already said, to calm yourselves, calm your mind. Um, you know, distract yourself with something that you like to do. Go for a walk or um, anything where you can switch off would be marvellous this week. Um, that's not to say progress cannot be made, it can absolutely, um, but maybe not in the way that you were hoping. But you know the universe always has better and bigger plans for you anyway, all right, I'm sure you'll know this. So you may just be feeling a bit more reflective, which is fine too. All right, so look, take care, great care of yourself. If you are feeling the, a bit rocky, a bit emotional, a bit uncertain, as we said, try to do something that will bring a smile to your face. Um, if something's not working, leave it and come back to it later. Okay, it may seem like there's a rush to get things done, but there really isn't. All right, so be present, be mindful and use your discernment. So have a great week and we'll be back next week. Okay, I hope that uh, made sense. Um, so yeah, the other thing was that I wrote down when I was tuning in earlier was that some of us overthinking something and maybe getting stuck in our own heads. So if that's happening, it's another good reason to try and go within, um, use your intuition. Um, and discernment and if you really can't feel like you can't because you're just all over the place then it would be good to do something that kind of makes you feel calmer and more connected uh, to, to yourself all right um, so I will be back on uh, Monday um, the 11th with the next energies of the week take care for now everyone have a lovely week bye bye